What's going on everybody? I'm Dr. P. Welcome back to another marvelous update day here in Fortnite Battle Royale. We're gonna go over everything that happened. We got new skins, we have cars now finally in the game, and we have some storyline stuff to talk about. So all in all, a very full video, and I'm sure you guys will find it helpful if you do. Do me a favor and drop a like as well as subscribe to the team and use code PINEAPPLESYT in the Fortnite item shop to help me give back as much as I do to you guys. And also, check me out on caffeine.tv to win free stuff. I just gave away a $100 V-Buck card today on my live stream. You can check out the link below. I gave it away to GiraffeBoy611. That was the winner of the first of five $100 V-Buck card giveaways for this month. We're going to have another one going down on August 8th and August 9th, so definitely make sure you guys are coming by. So first and foremost, cars are here, and one of my very first observations was, wait a second, it doesn't seem like there are a maximum of 10 cars that spawn on the map. I'm not sure how accurate that claim was or if that got updated later because of course the cars took a little extra time to come out and maybe they reconsidered that, but cars seem to be pretty frequent around the map and it doesn't really take a lot of looking around, at least from my experience, to find one. Now as for actually how they feel, man, I haven't driven them around a ton, but they feel really cool. I'm really happy to get behind the wheel whenever I find one. And I'll tell you what, man, those sports cars are super fun and there are just a ton of different ways this impacts the game. So I'm looking forward to playing more in this update. Let me know your rating on the cars. One of my favorite features about the cars and one I have not been able to use myself because of whatever bug is happening are the radio stations that the cars actually have inside. While you're changing the radios, you'll be able to listen to various different songs. And a lot of these are actually really, really good songs. But don't worry, if you are a creator, you do have the option to toggle off copyright, which is obviously very helpful, especially in my case. So Epic Games kind of played us here. They thought everybody would be caught up in the cars, and the cars might be possibly the biggest thing in this update, but they also included in the files here some leaks for the brand new Fortnite Live event that we should expect to see, and this seems to be the first hint that we've ever gotten, our first real hint as to what we might be able to expect or maybe try to guess what would happen for this live event. So this is courtesy of Hypex over on Twitter, and this is very obviously a rift. Now, if you think about it, this is very similar to the kind of rift that we had back in season four and five that was all over the sky. I wonder if over time this rift would get bigger and stuff would start coming through or sucking something up, you know, I gotta say, it would not be the first time that happened, and it's kind of cool to see Fortnite going back into sort of their main bread and butter. The game was the most fun, in my opinion, when that rift played a big role in the storyline, and since we've seen rifts like that before, it's very familiar to us, and we can connect to it a lot easier. Now, I'm not sure if that rift is actually in the game right now, or if it's coming out later, and that is just some sort of a decrypted leak, but it seems like it's not in the game right now, based on what I can tell, and when it does spawn, it's going to be located directly above the authority, the agency, whatever you want to call that middle island that is in the center of the map. The code name for it is actually called the High Tower Rift, so what could that mean? Initial observations there don't really bring a whole lot to mind, but please, I could very easily be missing something. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any ideas, but don't worry. We have a lot more information actually to talk about regarding this rift. Remember how I said previously that rift is already giving off a lot of strong season four, five, and just early Fortnite nostalgia vibes in general when the events were first happening? Well, they're going back to some more stuff they used to do. If you listen to the audio file that the high tower rift includes and then place that audio file into a spectrogram, you get what looks to be like the devil or someone really scary or something like that. Definitely some individual inside of the spectrogram. Very clearly that scene. So one of my very first thoughts goes back to when this happened for the first time or at least one of the very first times. When we got a spectrograph reading for the visitor's lair back in season four and obviously that was warning us of the rocket launch. So I wonder if this could potentially be warning us of another 
event that would be very similar to that, seeing as there are a lot of similarities already. But it doesn't end there. This next bit of info is courtesy of Fort Tory, who says there is one encrypted POI that I could find, game slash Athena slash Apollo slash map slash POI slash Apollo POI crater. And then he says, my guess connected to the high towers, six craters with these strange symbols. So the six craters and one more bigger crater? Seven craters in total? If that does happen, that's almost a direct reference to the seven and would bode well for us figuring out who at least one more member of the seven actually is this season. Remember, there was lots of speculation that the astronaut and the ancient astronaut within a spaceship was a member of the seven. There's speculation about Siona as well, and we still need to figure out what exactly happened with that spaceship because it's not exactly clear at all. But this is definitely something to bear in mind as we progress through the season. I'm not sure how that rift in the sky is going to change over time. Is it going to crack into something very similar where it's a huge crack in the sky like season four and five? Or is it going to be multiple different spots, kind of like rift zones from season X? I'm not sure if that's already been leaked. From what I could tell on my research, it has not. But I will update you guys with more info as soon as I find out more. So make sure you subscribe with notifications turned on. So I bet a lot of you guys are wondering about the race LTM that was leaked alongside of the car's update. Well, it probably won't be too long until the LTM drops. Inside of the game's coding, uh, before this update, it only said Chrome as the game mode, but it turns out that it's actually called Rally Royale. And the description is, collect golden tickets to unlock the finish line. Golden tickets are found in special supply drops. Once you have enough tickets, get to the finish line. Golden tickets are shared amongst the squad. So it looks like you're gonna have to fight for control over different supply drops falling into the map. That's where probably your cars will come in handy from racing to one side of the map from another. Once you find a golden ticket, you will know where the finish line is. And at that point, you just hop in your car and head to the finish line. Definitely a very intriguing game mode that I'm looking forward to playing. And it's going to be a lot of fun, I'm sure. Version 13.4 is here and cars are live in the game finally. Not only that, guys. But there seems to be new event storyline stuff ramping up as we've gotten our first hint into what's going to happen. It looks like we could possibly be getting another event centralized at the agency or authority. They're both the same. They're, I consider them to be the same. But another event in the middle of the map. Definitely leave your theories down below and let me know how you feel about the cars. I'll catch you in my next upload. And until then, guys, take it absolutely easy and peace out. Drive safe out there.